Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Layla and thank you for clicking on this video. Today is a very exciting one because I'm going on a tropical vacation next week. So for this week's video, I'm gonna do a pack with me. This is gonna be a fully extensive list of tips and tricks on how I pack in the most efficient way possible while still overpacking but it doesn't seem like you're overpacking so if you're one of those people that never knows what to bring and needs inspiration on how to stay organized while you're on a trip and before a trip then you came to the right place so i'm also not gonna say where i'm going so if you want to know before that vlog goes up make sure to follow me on instagram i'll leave it right here and that'll give you all the tea on where i'm going Please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future uploads. And without further ado, I hope you enjoy. For me, whenever I'm going on a trip, the first thing I always do is write out everything. So I'm going to show you what mine looks like for this trip. Okay, so step one, the very first thing I did was write out a general packing list of everything separated into categories. So that way it's easy to... Find what you're looking for and make sure you don't forget. I also color coded because I am crazy like that. It's the Virgo in me, okay? Feel free to screenshot this if you want. A very, very extensive packing list. The first category that I put is toiletries so you can see everything that I need in that bag. Makeup, nighttime pajama sets. I also break it down by how many days I'm gonna be there. You probably don't need five pajamas for a six day trip, but that's just the way that I like to do it. Again, because I like to overpack, so I make sure that I have extra in case anything goes wrong. Next, I have day clothes and swimsuits, nighttime clothes, shoes, accessories, jewelry, technology, and extras. So once I have both of those lists completed, I'm ready to begin the packing process. So for me, for this trip, it was a little bit different because I actually invested in new luggage, which I haven't ever purchased like a really nice suitcase. And I feel like now with one of my resolutions being to travel more, I definitely wanted to make sure that I had something super nice and durable, especially because the travel process to get to where I'm going is quite long this time around and again you'll see in the vlog but i wanted something that wouldn't break that was nice and that was cute obviously so i purchased the bays 26 inch check-in roller suitcase bays is a company that shay mitchell created and it's basically a bunch of travel accessories ranging from suitcases toiletry bags diaper bags duffel bags anything you can think of and the quality of the stuff is so 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 amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the suitcase that i got so you can see what the hype is about okay so this is what the suitcase looks like from the outside again it's a 26 inch in height so it's perfect so this is what the side looks like and i think this part is so 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 cool so the zippers lock into this compartment and then this symbol that you see here is actually a weight indicator. So if you carry your bag and it's over 50 pounds, it's going to light up and you'll know that it's overweight. For me, that's something that I actually really love about it because I know for myself, I've been there. I've been in the middle of the airport trying to take stuff out so that it's lighter. So this is super helpful. And then this is where the actual lock is. So once you set up your code, mine's already done you press this part in and the little zippers will unlock. So I thought that was really cool. Another really great feature is the handle. So even though the bag is black, the handle is beige, which is really cute. It has this foam memory pad grip. So that way when you're carrying the suitcase and walking around with it, it's not gonna be uncomfortable and I really actually appreciate that detail. I think it's a really nice touch. Lastly, from the front, it has this little clip that basically pulls out 
and you can hook a purse or a bag onto it and then you clip it back and it'll hold your bag right here so that way you don't have to carry multiple bags in one arm. So for example, there, it's carrying my purse which is super convenient. I don't have to worry about it and it's secured in. So this is what the inside of the suitcase looks like. I love how it has these two little pouches and this one is black so you can put like underwear, bras, whatever. And this one is clear. And one thing that I really like about it too is that it comes with one laundry bag which is super convenient so all your clothes doesn't mix in together. And it brings a shoe bag which I also love, so that way your clothes doesn't get dirty. When you open up this side, you just have a full pouch area to lay out clothes, shoes, whatever. And this side has compression straps that snap on and off, so that way you can tighten your stuff and nothing moves around. It also has this compartment, which has a mesh pocket right here that you can also put like socks, bathing suits, whatever, and then obviously the empty area right there. This is also removable if you want to take it off, but I think having that is super helpful and it'll help save space. As you can see, the luggage is so convenient. It has a bunch of pockets and really awesome features that I haven't seen on any other suitcase. So I would highly recommend investing in that if you're in the market for a new suitcase. So my next step is actually laying out all of the outfits that I have per day and per night, all the clothing items, and then putting it into packing cubes. Most of my items that I'm taking for this trip are actually new and I accidentally shipped one package to my parents' house which has a bunch of the bathing suits and cover-ups that I'm going to be taking so unfortunately I can't show those but I'll insert pictures over here so that way you can see. Um, so keep in mind, if it looks like I'm not packing enough, that's why. Before I dive in and show you all of the clothing that I laid out, I wanted to show these packing cubes. I got them from Amazon. They're really, really nice. And it comes with a pack of eight for only $25, which is pretty good. Comes with a huge one, medium one, small one, a shoe bag, an extra bag, a little one. This is a smaller cube, and it comes with this little bag too, which I'm not sure what it's for, but it can definitely come in handy. So I'll link these down below, but I think the most important step to making sure that you pack in an efficient way is to divide everything up in these packing cubes. That way everything is super organized, you know exactly where things are, and you're not going to get confused. So... I also save a bunch of space in your suitcase, which you'll see as I'm packing. Okay, cool. So I just finished laying out all of the clothes that I'm taking. It may not look like a lot, but with the other package it is, I just won't be able to include that in this video. I also only have two bathing suits, but I actually have six because I have four more in the other package. So once I lay everything out, one thing that I really think is beneficial to do is try every single outfit obviously not pajamas or like lounge stuff but every outfit that you may want to like take photos in try it on before so that way you know exactly what it looks like and if it's going to look like what you pictured it looking like in your head so for me i think that is probably the most important thing and then when i do that i always take a picture of it on my phone so that way i can save it to an album that's like for example Miami trip and then in that album you have every outfit so that way you can always refer back to it So that is what I'm gonna do next I had to change 
change because as you saw I was wearing one of the shirts that I'm actually gonna pack but anyways now that I'm done with taking my picture seeing how everything is gonna look and make sure it's how I imagined it's time to put them in packing cubes so I'll show you how I do that also please note that obviously I didn't try on like bathing suits cover-ups all that stuff like pajamas like why am I gonna try that stuff on I mainly tried on all the outfits that I'm taking for dinners at night which the hotel that we're staying at is it's kind of casual because it's like a small island so I, that's why I didn't pack anything like too over the top but I did bring a couple fancier options in case my mom and I want to like go to the casino or something but but anyways let's go organize the packing cubes so previously I've heard people say that the best way to do the cubes is to lay is to like put all the outfits in one cube however I disagree with that because I think obviously like jeans and stuff take up more space so you want to put those in first not the small stuff so for me since you already have photos of everything that you're gonna wear the best way to do it is put like jeans and thicker stuff in the bigger packing cubes and so on So now you have all of the bottoms and a couple extra things in the big packing cube and it's all organized so you don't have to worry about like where everything is. In this medium size one I'm gonna put all of my pajamas since those are the pieces that take up the most space besides the pants obviously. All of my pajamas literally are skims because that is the only thing I wear to bed. I have obviously so many different colors of them. And the boyfriend collection, as I've said in multiple videos, is by far the best. I highly recommend. I like to take a couple extra sleep pants too, because you can also use them for lounging, at least the Skims ones you can, so. See, that fits perfectly and you still have room. So if you have extra room, you can start filling it up. I'm going to put my blazer in here that I'm taking. Perfect. And then a couple of my smaller shirts. So my little bandeau top, crop top, etc. So now you know this medium sized cube has pajamas, tops, blazers, etc. So this one is all ready to be packed. Now with this small one, I'm just going to put the bathing suits that I have with me. I would obviously do this differently again if I had the other package here, but it's fine. We're going to make do. I'm going to put bathing suits and the rest of my clothing in this one. with number three so as you can see I literally just fit all of the clothes that I showed you guys that was all laid out just in those three so I still have one two three four five bags left this one I'm gonna put all my jewelry in which I'll show in a bit I also like to bring a pair of slippers with me to any trip I go on because I don't know they're my size. 
I like them. And I don't like walking around like hotel floors without socks. I think that's kind of gross. So I'm going to put these and my Skims cozy pullover in here, which this is just for the travel part of the trip. Now in the shoe bag, I'm obviously going to put in shoes. So I'm going to put my heels that I'm taking. And I'm only taking two, again, because the place is casual. So I'm taking these white ones and then a tan pair that are higher. Now that we're ready to put the stuff in the suitcase, I'm going to show you how I separate that. Normally, I like to use the part that has a compression pad or divider as the clothing side, and then this side I'll put in the shoes, toiletries, makeup, etc. Now the suitcase is super organized. You don't have stuff flying everywhere, which I hate because then it just like, I don't know, it looks so bad and I don't know. I live by the, these packing cubes. They are literally the best. I figured out that since my toiletry bag and makeup bag are a little bit big, I don't know if those would fit in here. So I'm gonna put those in my carry-on duffel bag thing. And now I'm gonna fill up this side with bras and underwear. So this is everything that I'm taking for hair. I'm taking a few claw clips cause I love them to just pull your hair back. A crimper, a straightener, a curler. This brush is to slick your hair back, it's so good. Hairspray, this has rubber bands in it, like clear elastics, hair ties, and bobby pins. Obviously, I, I'm gonna take a hairbrush too and shampoo and stuff like that, but I still need that since I'm not leaving yet. So this is what's gonna go in the suitcase for now. For makeup, I'm not gonna pack it right now, but I wanted to show you what I'm gonna take. I normally don't change this up at all, but this is also by the same brand as the suitcase. Comes with a mirror, I've talked about it in a video. Comes with a brush holder that's detachable. And then this is basically what I'm taking. So I have concealer, primer, setting spray, blush, highlighter, beauty blender, lipstick, um, tinted moisturizer, mascara, eyelash curler, everything. The only thing I'm missing is fake lashes and I'm gonna buy those in a few days. And then an eyeshadow palette. And lastly, for toiletries, I am gonna use this bag, also from the same brand. It's great, cause it has these like metal wires that keep it open like that. And it has a lot of pockets in here, a space for your toothbrush. And then this compartment opens up also on the bottom, which is nice. So again, like I just said, I need all the stuff until I leave. So I'm not gonna pack that right now. But once I do, like I showed in the beginning, this is everything that's gonna go in there basically. So you can get an idea. I'm gonna put the extra bag in this little pocket so I can use it for some of the items in my other package once I get it. Time to close this bad boy. Also forgot to mention when I was explaining the suitcase that this suitcase expands by two inches, which is really, really nice. So just a heads up. The suitcase is packed up and ready to go. So that is it for what I'm packing in my suitcase. Obviously, like I mentioned, I'm missing a few things. That's just 
practicality purposes. Obviously, I'm gonna take a beach bag and a carry-on bag, so I'm planning on doing a what's in my beach bag once I'm at my trip. Maybe like include nice clips of the beach and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that. And then the carry-on is just gonna have, honestly, whatever else I'm missing. Toiletries, makeup, socks, stuff like that. So also, disclaimer, obviously I'm gonna take sunscreen and stuff like that, but again, toiletry items. All of the links to the luggage and the packing cubes will also be down below. So make sure you check those out and comment your biggest essential for vacations. Hope this video was helpful in any way. Please let me know what else you want to see from my channel and make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything in the future. Follow me on Instagram. I always leave it linked right here and in the description. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.